hello friends welcome to my channel in this video i'll be discussing about uh, the aeration diffusers that are used in my uh, open biflog uh, system currently i am using uh, 14 numbers of uh, aeroxy spiders to fulfill the requirement of uh, dissolved oxygen in my open uh, pond that is 10 lakh liters but the major challenge is the maintenance every five to seven days i have to take it out all these rsc spiders from my open pond and clean it manually to maintain the required dissolved oxygen in the uh, pond otherwise slowly uh, the do level go down and consequences will be very bad particularly in uh, stream culture in biflux system the do plays major role which must not be compromised Due to these operational issues, I searched online and found uh, this uh, membrane diffusers. You can see it here. These are the two membrane diffusers. Okay, before buying this uh, product, I spoke with the company people and they confirmed that uh, these products work really uh, great uh, comparative to the comparatively uh, the RXC tubes and it did not require any periodically maintenance okay so for that reason i ordered two pieces of this uh, type of membrane uh, diffusers you can see it here these are the hollow cylindrical membrane diffusers and uh, it's a, the three feet one three feet and one other the two feet i ordered uh, two pieces of this and uh, the connection process is uh, quite simple and easy uh, here we are connecting with the 16 mm uh, lateral pipe to this uh, 3 feet uh, membrane diffusers and after that uh, we will be putting into this uh, culture pond and we will have a comparative uh, analysis between the aeroxy uh, spiders and this membrane tube how it works okay to uh, because this is a very hollow cylindrical tubes and uh, it requires a little bit load okay so that uh, it will stay uh, on the bottom of the pond otherwise it will uh, come up for that reason we are pu uh, putting some load okay so this is uh, a uh, aeroxy spider uh, material i am using here okay and uh, now we are putting into our pond so that uh, we will have a comparative data analysis between the aeroxy spiders and this membrane diffusers because every week i have to put so much effort to clean all this aeroxy spiders which is a very tedious task to do okay so i th thought uh, this uh, product will uh, help me to uh, you know uh, get rid of this maintenance work for that reason i ordered these two pieces now let's have a comparison between this aeroxy spiders and this uh, membrane diffusers let's now turn on the aeration and you will see the difference between the aeration uh, aeroxy spiders and this membrane diffusers now we have already did that you can see uh, the aeroxy spider produces a large amount of uh, bubbles and the area coverage also uh, large okay and you can see the first one the membrane one it creates larger bubbles and the coverage area also very small uh, looking at this result i don't think so this product is going to help me to replace all the spiders because the bubble size is a bit bigger compared to the aeration uh, aeroxy spiders and the coverage area also very small and right now uh, uh, it's running on the 3 hp uh, root blower and you can see the difference between the spiders aeroxy spiders and the membrane uh, diffusers okay if you are planning for higher biomass uh, projects of uh, stream uh, farming and biflux system ensure you have very strong aeration system in place to fulfill the aeration requirements okay otherwise uh, it will be a very problematic uh, situation uh, to handle the projects Thank you so much uh, for spending your quality time watching my videos. If you have any queries or suggestions, uh, you can post me on the comment section. I'll try to respond to you as early as, as possible. Soon I'll come with some new informational videos. Till then, bye bye, take care and have a good day. Thank you so much.